How's it going guys? Today, I'm going to be featuring the Ohio, the legendary tier American battleship. Um, in this one, I've basically gone back to uh, my usual build with the uh, secondary button and uh, running with scissors. I think the last one that I featured on the new map, I was using uh, Fight Fire with Fire to try to keep as much accuracy as I could, as well as a spotter plane. But in that one, it just kind of turned out uh, that I actually needed running with scissors, as well as the uh, secondary button, especially with how aggressive I am in battleships, and sometimes overly aggressive. And um, in this one, it's definitely a good example of why I actually needed the, uh, the close range things. Uh, but anyway, on this map, middle spawn, I probably should have kited out to uh, Charlie's side as the teammates that spawn at Charlie or I guess running away. Uh, but also seeing the enemy ships from their middle spawn pushing out to uh, Seaside, I decide to uh, not continue uh, to not continue pushing into C because I would basically be alone with the teammates abandoning C. And uh, I basically just use this island here to, uh, I guess, protect myself from being crossfired. And uh, now that we are, we are kind of in a uh, bad spot. Enemy ships are in A, their destroyers, as well as a uh, destroyer in B that is contested. And we are spotted now, so we do know he is somewhere in between the BA Montana and myself. So we kind of need to uh, stop here. And the problem is... Even though this BA Montana is, I guess, running away to the right side, we still have to worry about A, which still has their ships over there. And since they're not abandoning, this is a uh, crossfire that I would rather uh, avoid. So now it's time to try and reverse and, uh, yeah, not get nuked from the battleships on the right and then the breast. Not sure if this person playing with the breast has... Uh, picked up the new commander or not so I'd rather not find out so we're just gonna reverse away stay angle to breast and uh, just hope that we don't actually get nuked before we actually reverse behind the island uh, enemy destroyer at A does get spotted he's basically running away back to their spawn it is a shimmer long range torps I don't think anyone is uh, crazy enough to do shotgun shimmer like I do so we have to assume torpedoes are going to show up the destroyer in B also torpedoes luckily we were already in reverse and uh yeah we're not gonna eat any torps from him it is the uh the hayate i'm pretty sure he was in a uh, division as we touch that breast and uh yeah now he's kind of stuck there with our team pushing through a giving us a decent amount of broadside and uh yeah there's the hayate in the cap rear turrets on breast pretty good we get another citadel basically touched two breasts over there and uh yeah that that breast isn't uh long for this match especially with our team actually pushing towards him our friendly destroyer smokes up and i kind of see an opportunity to uh make a play here i decide to charge through the smoke and i'm kind of hoping that i can catch the hayate uh I guess unsuspecting, especially because we also have our destroyer at A, who can sort of help it, uh, at the point that we do spot Hayate. Or maybe he spots Hayate and, well, if we're in the smoke, uh, we can just basically nuke him before he knows what's actually happening. Since our Shimo was in the cap the whole time, Hayate, I guess, is assuming he's still there, probably trying to torpedo. We pop our secondary funny button. Luckily, he wasn't full speed ahead, so some secondaries touch him. And, uh, yeah, running with scissors absolutely worked there. Big chunks. Didn't quite, uh, well, we did death strike him. But our main guns weren't what finished him off. It was our secondaries. But nonetheless, that is one destroyer out of this match. And now we're in... Uh, kind of a bad spot luckily the uh, Palmern is all the way at the back and I don't think he can reach me but uh we have a BA Montana and a Yamato to worry about Shima not that big of an issue as long as we're uh, turning away decent salvo on the Montana as well but uh, it basically has a conch heal I think it heals like a hundred uh, HP per tick less than uh, than the conch 
So it's basically a Montana with a super heal, which is kind of uh, interesting. But uh, either way, Montana is still broadside, not uh, really reacting. So I kind of want to get rid of him first and then uh, deal with Yamato, especially because Yamato's already angling, which is kind of unfortunate. Would be cool if we could just uh, get a nice game return from him at some point. But C-Cap starts getting uh, contested. There's still a Kleber somewhere on this flank. And uh, yeah, he's in the cap. So I decide to uh, turn away from where I am assuming he is, which was chasing our teammates in the uh, south spawn. And I'm trying to use this island on my like 2 o'clock to possibly uh, pillar from the, uh, the torpedoes and trying to mitigate as much damage from him as I can as I'm trying to take on two battleships at once. I do kind of have to be uh, a little worried and I guess careful here because uh, Yamato does over my match my bow, improve pen angles and whatnot, so I'd rather not get smashed uh, through the bow and lose all my HP, especially with how close we are. Uh, we get a high caliber, our secondaries are setting him on fire, and uh, Friendly Shimatorps look pretty good on the Yamato, but I just decide to uh, game return. Not sure if this was a good idea or not, but I was getting a little worried Clabera was going to YOLO me and just show up around the corner. Luckily, no Citadels though. Yamato just, I don't know, maybe it was too high, not accurate enough. I don't know, sometimes it's also trolly, especially if you're turning away and lowering the Citadel on that side of the ship does kind of help sometimes. But more often than not, you probably should be punished. So we got away with that, kind of luckily. And uh, yeah, since we know there's a Kleber behind us, we're just going to uh, run away. Because Kleber Torps, even if they build for it, are such a short range. As long as you're running away, chances are the Torps will run out. Louisiana, showing a decent amount of side. Uh, not quite enough, though, as we're not going to uh, get any Citadels. But uh, yeah, I probably should have been targeting the, uh, the Tumor from the start and maybe we would have uh, done a better chunk and um, yeah but now Louisiana has to kind of angle to the ships at A he's sort of showing a little more broadside but then I realize my running with scissors activated and the uh, Kleber is doing his absolute best to try and chase me down and luckily we did have our secondary funny button here to uh, to help us with the Kleber but unfortunately, obviously secondaries don't earn as much XP. So uh, all the damage that my secondaries are doing, I mean, is definitely not uh, earning as much as my main guns would have, unfortunately, as I don't even have to shoot my main guns at the club there. It's like the only situation where your secondaries could actually lead is if they're, I guess, charging at you, bow in, and I guess chasing. If they're sailing straight left to right, your secondaries aren't going to lead, which is kind of unfortunate. Louisiana pops a heal. Our team is not quite able to do enough DPM to him to finish him off. And we uh, we get a Pitadel. Yeah, I wish I got that Citadel earlier, but that's fine. Uh, and now that all that's left is, uh, I guess, the Shima that was uh, spotted running from A at the start. So we switch to HE, kind of hoping that he's, I guess, planning to YOLO me or something like the uh, Kleber did. But he's not actually. So I'm just going to go ahead and fast forward it here because we just basically try to chase him. But he's nowhere to be found. And the game ends on points. Kind of, uh, kind of unfortunate because even in that last video, we couldn't uh, quite secure a Kraken either. But uh, either way, this was a very good uh, Ohio match and a very good example of why I need running with scissors and the secondary button. Because more often than not, I am basically point blank range to a lot of things. And uh, yeah, that Shima bottom teaming after running away. Unfortunate, one kill shy of a Kraken. Kind of wish he uh, just threw his ship away. But either way, four kills, good amount of XP, good damage. Everything you would want in the uh, in the Ohio. And uh, yeah, this is just my, uh, my comfort ship at this point. Yeah, it's funny. I haven't even played Massachusetts since uh, 
what December January so it's been eight months imagine that but uh yep so like I said I went back to my uh <laughs> running with scissors build instead of fight fire with fire as well as the secondary button nothing else changed just the uh the legendary skills and uh consumable but yeah this is my favorite build never gonna change but I also noticed that someone actually beat my Ohio record, so I'm kind of sad about that. Although it's not by much, and it was with New Jersey. Uh, well, at least we had it for a little while, huh? Also, I guess technically the first. We'll always be the first to get 400k in Ohio. But anyway, that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, leave a like and subscribe for more, and share it with your friends. Or leave a comment down below on other ships you want to see in the future. But, till next time, aloha.